Let's find a comfortable seated position and slowly start closing your eyes. Start focusing on your breath, how with every inhale the cold air is streaming into your nostrils and how with every exhale the warmer air is leaving your nostrils. Feel how with every exhale your body starts to get heavier and sinks deeper onto your mat and into the ground. How with every exhale your body starts to lose some tension and how you find more presence with every breath. Really arrive in this present moment. Whenever during this practice your thoughts are drifting away, start to come back to your breath and focus on your breathing. Take this little meditation at the beginning of your practice to prepare yourself for the movement that follows. And then when you're ready you can slowly start opening your eyes and together we start moving our bodies. On the inhale we're gonna draw a circle to the front and on the exhale we're gonna round our back. Inhale to the front, exhale to come back. Inhale to the front, exhale to the back. Then we're gonna switch sides. Always on the inhale we reach the front and on the exhale we move back and tuck our navel in. we're gonna go for a few cat and cows on the inhale we open our chest and the exhale we round our spine inhale to open chest lift our chin exhale round and tuck your belly button in last time inhale open chest and exhale tuck your belly button in then we find a neutral position and slowly make our way into a tabletop position. Our knees and hips are stacked as are our arms and we're gonna slowly start moving into our first downward facing dog. Start walking the dog out, bend your knees and slowly get into this posture. Then we're gonna stay here for a few moments, a few breaths to relax. Really make sure that your spine is straight. It's not important to straighten your legs, it's more important to maintain a, a long and straight spine. Close, close your eyes and then when you're ready, slowly with baby steps, walk towards the front of your mat. Hang a bit, grab your opposite elbows and loosen up your body. Swing from side to side and then we're gonna rise up, lift our arms over our head and come into our Tadasana, arms next to us. We start moving a bit faster, inhale to lift your arms to the sky, exhale fold to Uttanasana. Inhale halfway lift and exhale step back into plank, knees, chest and chin. Inhale we go into a cobra, open our chest and exhale move back into a downward facing dog. Then on the next inhale lift your right leg. And on the exhale, we move it back down. Next inhale, left leg rises. And exhale, left leg goes back down. Again, inhale, right leg. Exhale to lower. Inhale, left leg. Exhale to lower. We take an inhale here, on the exhale we bend our knees and step it to the front of our mat, halfway lift. Exhale Uttanasana. On the inhale we lift again and exhale back into Dadasana. 
Inhale, this time you come into a chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale back into plank for knees, chest, and chin. Ashtangasana. Inhale, Cobra. And exhale, we meet back in downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up and exhale step your right foot in between your hands and the inhale we're gonna rise into a warrior one back foot 45 degree angle exhale low lunge and inhale plank exhale knees chest and chin inhale upward facing dog or cobra and exhale move back to downward facing dog Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step into in between your legs. Back foot lower to the ground. Inhale, warrior one. Hips are parallel. Exhale, back to low lunge. Inhale, step it back into plank. Exhale, knees, chest and shin. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, back into downward facing dog stay here for a few moments regain our breath find inner peace and stillness take a moment to arrive in this posture feel the lengthening of your spine then the next exhale we're gonna bend our knees step forward on the inhale halfway lift and then next inhale, we come into chair pose. Exhale back to Tadasana. Then on next inhale, lift our arms up again. Exhale to fold back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back into plank. Knees, chest and chin. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Then inhale, right leg lifts. And on the exhale, we're gonna come into a plank variation with our bent knee. Make sure to push yourself away from the floor, engage your glutes, engage your core, and keep your knee as high as possible. Try to lift it even a bit higher. Then on the next inhale, lengthen it again. And on the exhale, we're gonna fold our knee and open ourselves up into a wild thing by lowering our right leg behind us. Really feel this opening of your side body, of your chest, and enjoy this posture. Then on the next inhale, we're gonna come back into the center and exhale to lower. Inhale, left leg lifts. And on the exhale, again, we bend our knee and come into a plank variation with lifted knee. Stay here for a few breaths. Try to really create tension in your muscles. And then on the next inhale, lengthen your leg again and open your hip, bend your knee and lower your leg behind you for our wild thing. Open your chest, your heart, look up. Enjoy this posture. Then we come back to center, lengthen our leg, and on the exhale, lower your leg back down. Then we're gonna stay here in downward facing dog for a few moments to give herself a moment of rest. Then take an inhale here and the exhale, bend your knees, step forward, halfway lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, we're gonna rise. And exhale, back into Tadasana. Next inhale, arms lift up. Exhale, fall back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back into plank, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. 
and exhale downward facing dog then right leg lifts and on the exhale step it to the front lower your back heel rise into warrior one shorten your stance extend your arms and on the exhale we fold forward and draw our upper body closer to our right leg really with every inhale try to create some more length and with every exhale try to fall deeper into pyramid pose enjoy this nice stretch in your body and then place your left palm down and on the inhale open your right arm up to the sky for a nice opening in the right side of your body in your right shoulder you can look to the side or follow your hand with your gaze whatever suits your best then bring your arm back down and on the inhale we're gonna lift onto warrior one again exhale shift our weight and on the inhale we're gonna draw our knee up and we're gonna come into a fold we're gonna fold our left leg over our right leg and do the same with our arms left arm over right arm for our garundasana our twist try to find a focus point so you can maintain your balance and try to come lower into this position then on the inhale we're gonna unwind and on the exhale we're gonna step back into a warrior one we come back into plank and on the exhale we lower down knees chest and chin inhale cobra and exhale into downward facing dog inhale lift your left leg exhale step into the front between your legs back leg lowers inhale come into warrior one shorten your stance extend your front foot and inhale or exhale to fold into pyramid pose you're gonna stay here a few moments try to draw closer to our front leg with every exhale enjoy this twist enjoy this stretch then on the inhale open our left arm to the sky to create a nice little opening in our left shoulder stay here for a few moments really feel into this asana then on the exhale lower your arm back down and on the inhale we come back up into warrior one exhale shift your weight and inhale we're gonna fold our right leg over our left leg and do the same with our arms for our eagle pose try to come deeper into this posture by lowering a bit remember to focus on a point in front of you to make it easier to maintain your balance Then on the next inhale we unwind exhale to step back into a warrior one exhale lower into low lunge take an inhale in plank exhale knees chest and chin inhale upward facing dog or cobra and exhale downward facing dog i'm gonna take a few moments of rest here Feel how your body maybe feels different. Exhale deeply if you need to. Then take an inhale here and the exhale. We're gonna step it to the front. Halfway lift, exhale down. Inhale, we rise. And exhale, we come back to Tadasana. Again, one more time. Inhale, hands over your head. Exhale to lower back down inhale lift halfway exhale step it back into plank lower down ashtangasana inhale cobra and exhale come back into downward facing dog then we're gonna lower our knees to the floor 
make sure that our hips and knees are stacked and then we're gonna extend our arms in front of us and come into our puppy pose we're gonna try to draw our chest closer to the ground and we can rest our chin on the mat really feel this nice opening of your chest and try to relax into this posture every exhale try to sink deeper into puppy pose gonna come back up and we're gonna bring our legs to the front and lower our back and we're gonna thread the needles so we're gonna bend our right or right leg and put it on top of our left leg and we grab through the hole to draw our knee closer to our chest also make sure to push the right knee a bit further away so to create a nice opening also in your the right side of your hip so it looks passive but it's actually quite an active stretching then we're gonna release our right leg and we're gonna come into a nice little twist so we're gonna extend the right arm and look over to the right side you can grab a hold with your left arm of your knee and draw it closer to the floor really enjoy this posture as we're moving towards the end of our practice then we can switch our legs bring the left leg over the right leg and try it with your hands to pull your right leg closer to your body while also pushing your left knee a bit further away from you to create some counter movement to this stretch really feel into the posture and then we're gonna release the right leg or the left leg to the right side extend our arm to the left side and look to the left side of the room relax focus on your breath keep your eyes closed if you can stay present try to enjoy the stretching and the lengthening of your muscles then we're gonna release the posture and we're gonna put our soles together and let our knees fall to both sides of our mat for our butterfly which is a really nice opening of the hips and a nice asana to prepare ourselves for shavasana really feel how your body feels today maybe how you feel different than from the beginning of your practice try to let go of any excess tension let go of any negativity and try to let go of any thoughts or restlessness in your mind can stay in this posture or are we gonna come go into shavasana now or corpse pose or final resting pose so bring your feet mat width apart arms are resting to the side of your body palms look up 
try to imagine how with every exhale you really go deeper into this posture how you release everything how you sink deeper how your body gets heavier shavasana is a really important part of our practice and shouldn't be skipped it's really the moment where all the movement that you just did is going to unfold the most benefits to your well-being physical as well as mental well-being it's well deserved to just rest and take a moment to regain your energy to restore your body Shavasana gonna roll over onto our right side in an embryo position our knees are still bent our eyes remain closed really roll and curl yourself up and then with the help of your hands and your eyes still closed we're gonna meet back in in a cross-legged position our palms our hands are resting on our knees palms facing up to be receptive to energy. Try to be thankful for this practice. Thank yourself for taking the time of the day to be on the mat, to do something nice for your body and for your mental health. Try to carry this gratitude and this feeling of peace throughout the day. Lower your chin for gratitude. Thank you for joining. I hope to see you soon. Namaste.